Hello and welcome to City Skylines. My name is Christopher Tarantola. I'm your humble host. We are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we have a bit of a pickle here. We had a train that was going through here and had a surface uh, crossing right here, and then connected here and straight on, and I am going to rework that because as you can see, we've got major backup. Uh, we had for the longest time been okay, but it looks like at this point, uh, we, we really do need to have a separate thing here. I mean, it's backed our trains up all over here. Um, all kinds of backup going on, so we really need to reevaluate how we're doing things. I wonder if, um, yeah, so we're gonna just go ahead and page up here. Um, we do want it to, to go ahead and be a straight slope and up because it is a train, and then we'll go straight across here, and then we'll page back down to about right here and we're going to turn it here and then we'll go back to just normal now and connect on in we obviously want to finagle that to be essentially straight and that will look a lot better we can curve that a little bit bring that on out that needed to be curved bring that in yeah now curve that should curve this way and this guy should curve that way no curve and curve guys all right there we go and there we go okay now, there's a problem, though, is in that we had this wanting to go out that way, and it, it can no longer do so. So we're going to have to figure out another solution to that, because I don't know that it, just raising it up will, will quite cut it in such a small space. So we could probably actually, in, in the game, do it, but would that be... I, it's so unrealistic that at some point it's like just no I don't know I mean that's a pretty tight turn there um, what's what's the harm and also adding elevation um, but it really can't really start to right there and it's already finished by right here and it just no so I wonder if we need to maybe kind of go underground and then come back up and meet up I think that's what we're gonna have to do so, go ahead and start it off here, and I'm just going to, to go straight here, and then page it on down. And we want a straight slope, and we want to more or less go straight. snap to anything just just do your own thing there we go we'll page it back up and bring it on in But you know what? That doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look horrible. Um, and expensive, but it's going to really alleviate, hopefully, the problem here. And uh, hopefully the problem here as well. Uh, this is stopped because the traffic is stopped. The traffic is stopped because the train is stopped. So it's just kind of a vicious cycle here. So yeah, let's get things moving. go. 
some stuff moving in. That seems like that certainly has cleared out. Let's see about clearing this stuff out. Now what has changed? Uh, the only thing that really changed is I changed that to a freeway. I don't understand why that might ca has caused all this issue. I guess the only thing is that it, they feel entitled to be able to go straight through. Maybe if we take that off and leave it on here, that'll help things out. You know, here's a really great example of where a diverging diamond might help and we might have to upgrade this to a diverging diamond at this point. But I'm gonna let this um, work itself out a little bit, see how well that works. And I'll come back to that in a little bit. Let's go check on our industry that we did here. Um, it seems like it's it's growing. Uh, it's not fully there. We've certainly satisfied the demand. Um, and one of the reasons we did that is because we had some buildings over here that didn't have enough goods to sell. And so one of the things that we did to try and alleviate that is we put uh, this factory, or I'm sorry, this warehouse over here. And I wonder if perhaps we need specific goods, depending on what it is. See, I think that's just general goods, but I wonder if this is too far for it to really make a difference for these folks over here. I don't know. Uh, we're clearly we're getting some loss of zoning here. Um, we can also go over here to our outside connections, and the importation of goods is definitely our highest thing. Mail is the other thing that we import a lot. Uh, exporting. We're exporting mostly agricultural goods, so and no purple goods. So we need a lot of general goods. Um, the other thing that we need to do is we could um, really start to have an advanced economy with some of these other things. So we, we should be producing all of this stuff, and that could really boost up how much money we're making as well. So that's something that I want to think about as well as maybe having like a little industrial valley right here. Um, and so that's gonna pull away from the high pressure uh, traffic that we have going on right here and all these intersections. Um, all of these things will pull this way. Um, the oil will still pull that way. Um, but, you know, this intersection looks like it's, it's doing fine and it's very easily upgraded. And we can also easily make it like a direct connection through here um, to, to bypass the freeway if it's really becoming that much of an issue. So that's something I want to think about uh, moving forward here. But I really want to just fine tune some of the things going on here. This intersection is working great and this, this area in general traffic wise. So um, I'm really pleased with how that has panned out. Uh, you know, we're still getting some slow down here from the merging, but it seems like it's it's going to be as efficient as it could be. Um, it, it was back all the way up, and now it seems like it's it's struggling to move, but it's it's moving. Uh, so we're going to leave that alone. Uh, this intersection was doing kind of dire, and it seems like things have really cleared up here as well, which is great. Um, I think a lot of that might have been that we had too many trolleys going on, uh, or trams. Trams or trolleys, aren't they the same thing? But um, I think it's got no passengers. No passengers wanting to come over to here. So we need to maybe look at, took on no passengers. So is this maybe a waste of money? Did I have this? There's no passengers coming and going. You know, maybe it was more necessary when I, I didn't have my metro, but now that I have my metro, the, the tram is a lot less uh, necessary and less desirable. Still no passengers. Oi, I might need to eliminate this line altogether. I would have thought this was going to be really big stuff coming on over here. Um, 
It's supposed to be kind of like the resort area. But I, I guess I need to have a lot more draw. How's this doing? It's got 60 visitors a week, which is all right. I guess it's, it's kind of mediocre when you compare it to like uh, here where we got 343 visitors. Um, a big part of that is the fact that I have my bus over here and I have this metro station over here. And I mean, look at look at the masses of people. I mean, holy for holies! Look at all those people that just are flowing out of there, and they're they're getting in, they're turning into cars and going onto the street. Wow, that is just a massive amount of people. Let's see, where all are they going? Um, I want to see this. Let's let's track this down. Hmm. Let's track it down. But honestly, we just want pedestrians. Where all are they going? So they're going all over this stinking um, area here. We've got some pedestrians that are going all the way to over here. That's crazy. And then we add cyclists. Do we have, we don't really have too many, just a few. But it's, I mean, we got people that are walking from the freaking farms. That's kind of crazy. That is really crazy. That 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 is somebody that's dedicated to walking. I'll tell you. Okay. Um. No, no. It seems like most people are. Let's, let's do this number here. No. So. Kind of going all over this place for sure. We got some that are really even coming all the way out to over here. I don't know why you wouldn't just take a line, but, uh, okay. Put everything back in. And, uh, still go back to this. Okay. Well, in any case, look, we got a lot more backup here now from that same thing. That's backed up. But how's this looking over here? You know, I think that's working okay. It's doing all right. That's certainly all working well. That's working well. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is doing just fine. Uh, I think I did my grid, uh, my industrial grid well here to where it's, it is flowing nicely. So let's go ahead and let's get our industri industry on. Uh, actually, it looks like we have a lot of uh, demand for uh, commercial we want to maybe change some of this over to commercial really up the ante over here especially like right here let's see kind of want to do is I want to just add a pedestrian road here. Um, yeah, we'll do this fancy one here. Just like that. And we don't want any lights, so let's turn that off. Come on, guys. No lights. But, um, I kind of don't want the this zoning here. I kind of don't like that, but 
um, that ought to really connect things. Now, I could always bulldoze that and then just make it one of these normal things or even like this part. Oh, we're saving. Bear with us. We're saving. Bingo. And then another bingo here. And then we can go ahead and add that zoning back in and it'll actually go to the roads there. And then the other thing we want to make sure to do is add our crosswalks. off we don't need the lights and see how that works out for us I bet you it'll work out really great we already got people crossing the crosswalk <laughs> we just still have a ton of people uh, we kind of had Putting that crosswalk there does kind of create a bit of a traffic jam. So uh, one thing we might do is just do a pedestrian overpass, which I have. I have the this one here that we can do. We just stick it right here, like this, and then we actually eliminate this. Uh, this crosswalk here. And then people can go go over that way. are still crossing there so let us manage that come on let me manage it it's not let me manage it hmm that's interesting stop that from happening there shouldn't be any crosswalk there so I don't know why they're still walking across if anything it's frustrating seems like it's less and less though maybe it's just that um, the pathfinding was there or I don't know no it's it's picking back up there's no way that it's it was existing pathfinding so I might have to delete and reintroduce Hawaii. And we'll go over to here. Fix the problem. Yeah, that fixed the problem. And now we'll just use this pedestrian bridge here, and that'll be fine. And that's better. And I do like that there's a lot of walking going on right there. Yeah, 
yeah so that's I mean it, it, it already is it's looking really great and uh, it'll continue to grow as really part of it is I, I need to get more uh, goods coming into the city um, I think part of it is I need to have more oh, what do we got here we got uh, no more room so we need to deal with that not traffic flow but garbage yeah we, we definitely gonna need to up our processors how many garbage trucks we got going on over here so let's uh, add those in garbage city over here that's okay kind of necessary mm, I think I'm gonna need to stretch oh we got a nice tall building going up over here kind of a weird scaffolding situation but hey you know I guess you do what you got to do there got it a couple times but okay sounds good we have a, a police issue here just for this one guy what's he doing there there should never shouldn't be any zoning there anyway oi and these guys here sneaky 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 I don't want you to be zoned there <laughs> Yes, go away. Police problem? That's okay. You shouldn't be there. Oi. Okay. Better. So, how are we looking? Do I have this zone over here? I do. It's just not filled in. Which is fine. So, I think uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, start our industrial factories here so we do a like steel plant here that looks cool and plastics factory why not space is already occupied is it like one of those yeah okay so factory here now, I don't know if I want to do it that right there maybe I want to do it up here you know what we got we got a toy factory so I'm not even looking so I know I'm, I'm making all this stuff but uh, I might need to refine how much I'm making of what um, as I add this stuff so it needs wood and, and this, is, but this ought to be like a good in the middle area um, now, one thing I probably want to do is create some grid here, some semblance of a grid. just leave it at that for now don't want to get it too tight of a grid so we can stick the toy factory like over here printing press lemonade factory it's a nice big factory Let's stick it over here
else we got? Electronics factory. Clothing factory. Not nearly as big, which is fine. It's good. It's actually better. I don't mind. Go ahead and just continue to eliminate this because I think power wise we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We are certainly filling in the power grid here. So, do we want it maybe going this way? Petrol petroleum refinery. Um, what does it need? We need some steel as well. Maybe we stick this one like over here. Um, and soft paper factory. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger grid. grid here and large industrial road hmm. Let's go back to this big old refinery here. We can stick that right there. We'll move it over a little bit. That way, if uh, that way, if uh, we want to have that railroad go, we can. Um, car factory. Food factory. Okay. You can stick that maybe back over here somewhere. And a sneaker factory. There we go. What else we got? Modular house factory. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll stick that one over here too. And a shipyard, which we, we can't do. We just can't do. Now, almost certainly we're just not going to have enough goods, so we're going to really need to expand our industries out to have those working at full capacity. But um, this kind of thing ought to go away real quick. Um, now, we, we also probably need to expand a lot of this. Now, why is our grid gone away? Um, well, we just we just we're with all those extra factories, man. We're we're pumping through the power, so we're gonna have to really add more power. There we go. Added four new uh, power plants there. <laughs> okay, yeah. There we go. And how about water? Yeah, we're going to need to definitely add some water capability um, to accommodate our new industrial ambitions. And I will add six of those.
and see how that does with our water and sewage treatment abil availability. <laughs> we might go ahead and add some more. Jeez. You want to just complete the, the package here? That ought to be enough water. Holy for holidays. Yep, we definitely got some traffic going on here now. And even over here, starting to get traffic um well, let's see how this oh you know what yeah that makes sense okay so let's um let's really water up everything just need goods now we're probably gonna need some good warehouses around here as well um, so let's go ahead and make these, some of these factories make these warehouses look tiny even though they're anything but I don't know I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone for now and see just see how we do Just gonna leave it and see how we do. Hopefully, we eliminate this uh, amount of goods to sell. And uh, yeah, this is continuing to grow nicely. I like this. I like how this is looking. Oh man, we're getting more of these funky. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn those assets off because. Oh, that looks horrible. Um, I'll definitely do that between now and the next episode. Um, I think that's it, for actually, speaking of, uh, for this episode. Not enough good to say. I think that's it for this episode. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching, as always. Uh, thank you so much. What's this? Too few services. We're back to that. Uh, what services do we need? I don't know. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all next time. Thanks. Bye.